safi mtazamaji kuna video clip ambayo nataka nikuonyeshe na hata kabla sija kuonyesha kuna kitu kimoja ambacho nataka niwaambie kwa wale ambao huwa mnakutana na rigadi ya shagwa kuna ujumbe fulani naomba kabisa afikishiwe na ujumbe ni huu hapa kuna vitu viwili ambavyo inabidi aviache kabisa na watu wataanza kumchukulia serious it's, it's very simple kuna vitu viwili inabidi afanye nini awachane nayo afu baadaye watu watamchukulia serious cha kwanza ni mdomo Rigadi ya shagwa na mdomo fulani mpaka unashindwa ah huu jamani kitu kipi ambacho kinamsumbua sasa wachana na mdomo jamaa na ujeuri fulani yani unaweza yani yani hata ukim, ukimwangalia anavyozungumza unaweza kadhani bas huu ndo the first deputy president why kutokea hapa Afrika hata sio East Africa Afrika jamaa na ujeuri wa ajabu sana na acha niwaambie kitu kimoja hii hivi ni vitu ambavyo waga vinaisha Hivi ni vitu ambavyo hamtakaa hapo vitaisha kuna siku itakuja mtaenda kama alivyoenda uhuru Kenyatta mtakuja kuenda Walikuwa leo walikuwa wapi Kiambu Hiyo video na kuonyesha yani hata wewe hautaamini kama ni rais naibu rais anaongea au ni village elder na yani hauta yani utashindwa ku differentiate na i hope unajua village elder sisi kwetu tunawaita mkuru wa, wa nani wa nani vijijini kule Yaani utashindwa kuelewa huyu chifu au village elder. Yaani yani sometimes hata unaweza kuweka chief juu yake yani uka um, aeleweki kabisa. Unanielewa mtazamaji aeleweki. Same speech. Same names. Yaani hakunaka kitu kipi ambacho jamaa anaweza kafanya. Yeye kazi yake ni kusifu Ruto na kusema hakuna kitu ambacho mnawafanyia, mtawafanyia. So leo nimeshangaa kuona nasema eti <laughs> amtawaambia sempa kuenda o oh, Raila anajua nani Ruto anajua inchi anajua sehemu ambapo ataenda sio lazima mmwambie I'm like yo ikafika point anasema eti Ruto haitaji ha, ha, yani haitaji ha, kabisa advice kutoka kwa sisi au kutoka kwa media au kutoka kwa azimio <laughs> ngoja tu nyinyi mtakuja kuanguka siku moja na mtatamani kabisa advice za watu mtakuja kwa yani hii serikali itakuja kuanguka vibaya sana in fact mimi naomba serikali ianguke kwanza ikishaanguka sio kwa uma, sitaki nchi yetu eti ianguke no nataka mjifunze kwanza wananchi nini nataka mjifunze kwanza ianguke ndo mjue kabisa mdomo haisaidii ujeuri haisaidii watu wanatakiwa kushirikiana ndo ndo li, yani tatizo kama hili lisijirudie siku zingine zile za usoni na nipata mtazamaji wangu mtu mkubwa naibu rais anaongea kama mtoto mdogo wa class 7 anaongea kama mtoto mdogo na shinda kwa what's wrong with this nigga same waga kabisa amtaki kumwandikia kabisa speech with the shago mnataka endelee kuchoma hivyo cha kushangaza zaidi ni kwamba hata Ruto mwenyewe anamuogopa hawezi hakuna hata kitu anaweza kumwambia Ebu mkamsikilize hapa Rigathi Gashago. Mniambie huyu naibu wa rais au huyu <laughs> nani bwana? Huyu ni huyu nani kwanza huyu? Hebu msikilizeni huyu jamaa mniambie au mimi ndo naona macho yangu au mimi nimelewa bwana. Hebu msikilizeni huyu jamaa. Republic of Kenya and Commander in Chief of the Defence Forces Dr. William Ruto. Mawaziri wetu Gavana wa Jimbo la Kiambu waheshimiwa wabunge our investors wananchi wa hapa rudi hamjambo hamjambo tena happy new year price wetu sisi wale ambao umetupatia nafasi kufanya chini yako tunafurahia sana ile mwelekeo umetoa ya maendeleo ya nchi ya Kenya rais wetu ulituita pale nyanyuki ukatupatia mpangilio wa kazi na kazi umepanga na kila mtu wako na kazi yake na tunakufuata tunafuata vile umeiga mfano ya kusukuma gurudumu la maendeleo your excellency your passion for the construction of affordable housing for the people of Kenya is in no doubt for two purposes one to give our people dignified 
houses and number two and most important to create employment for our young people na kwa hivyo tukiwa hapa tunaomba wale wenye hii mradi na contractor hii kazi ya mafundi na kazi ya mkono mpatie wakaaji wa hapa Roiro wapate pesa mfukoni wale tungetaka mulete hapa labda ni engineer peke yake na mtu ya kulipa pesa peke yake yule ya kulipa pesa mkuja naye lakini hii kazi ingine yote tupatie hawa na pesa yao ikiwezekana mwapangie siku ya Jumamosi msiwaweke mpaka mwisho wa mwezi pata pesa yao na tunaomba pia mama mjipange wale mabwana zenu wakipokea pesa Saturday mnakuwa karibu ndio mnagawana ingine naenda nyumbani ingine mnawachia wazee waangalie mambo yao your excellency juzi tumekuwa katika nyanza na wewe na tukapokelewa vizuri kwa sababu huko pia ni Kenya sasa wale watu ya azimio walikuwa nafikiria huko tutakuwa na shida hawalali ati wakijaribu kushauri wewe ati vile utapanga kazi ya Kenya wewe utaenda kanisa huko wewe utaenda program huko president william ruto does not need your advice on where to go for church and where to go for development he knows this country in any case nyinyi mambo ya kanisa msiongee mlikuwa mnasema mtafuga makanisa kama mungepata kwa hivyo hiyo maneno muachane naye and we are telling these as mere characters please don't try to set an agenda for president william ruto the agenda for president william ruto is clear in the kenya kwanza plan and it is anchored on the social contract with the people of kenya so musi tujaribu kwa kumpatia agenda atianzia huko atienda kanisa huko enda maendeleo huko kama mtu angesikiza ajenda yenu na, na advice yenu angesama vile mlizamisha serikali ya handshake nyinyi mlikuwa mnatoa advice kwa serikali ya handshake mlikuwa mnatengeneza serikali eh, agenda kwa serikali ya handshake ilizama haikuzama mungetaka rais asikize hiyo watu ukisikiza hiyo washauri walikuwa na shauri wale wakaweka yao kwa shimo wakaharibu Kenya kuka kuwa hakuna pesa ndio huyu kawanjiku analia barabara imekuwa mapale kashie mpaka pale kwa pawa kuelekea pale kihara kishagi na imekuwa kwa sababu na nilisema pale kasarani tulipofika kwa hii serikali tulikuta hakuna chochote kwa store hata panya walipotea kwa sababu hakuna kitu ya kukula kwa hivyo watu ya kiambaa tunaomba nyinyi Mziumize mziumize hii kijana Kavanjiko. Rais anatafuta zaidi ya 900 billion kulipa makontrakta diwarudi kwa barabara. It has nothing to do with these members of parliament. They are innocent. We inherited a problem ambayo ilikuwa created na wale watu ya handshake and the president is trying to sort out that issue. Wewe kengara ukisema nilikwambia usime simu ungewaambia why nilikuwa nakwambia usime simu don't just accuse me without saying why nimwambie ni kwa nini si huyu kingara unajua alikuwa amekwama pale hako huko hako huko akaambiwa na watu ya roiro sikia wewe usipoigia uda mpaka nyumba ndio akakuja akaigia uda huingia akaanza kutishwa wewe urudi kwa azimio ama tutakufungulia mashitaka tutakushika friday sasa akaona mtu mwenye anai ako na maarifa ya hii kushikwa ni mimi akanitafuta akanikuta mpaka nyumbani aina ina kwa dalara eh sasa mimi kumsikiza nikamwambia okay unaweza ogopa kushikwa friday ufunguliwa mande nae raia wa kufukuza miaka tano. sasa wewe taamua ili kufungiwa siku tatu na kuwa nyumbani miaka tano ni gani mzuri akaniambia afadhali nifungiwe kuliko nifukuzwe miaka ngapi sasa nikamwambia hii mambo ni kidogo wewe funga simu mpaka mande nilimshauri mzuri sasa akafunga simu hakushikwa 
amesimama amechaguliwa ni mbunge wa Roiro. So mimi nilikupatia good advice. Lakini hata kama ungefungiwa, kwani ungekufa? Wewe bwana ugua muoga, kuji kufungiwa ni kitu kidogo. Sasa ya mwisho your excellency hapa katika eneo hili. Katika kaunti zetu hapa tano Tuko na shida ya dawa za kulevya na pombe haramu ambaye inaharibu watoto wetu. Si iko namna hiyo? Na tumepata regional commissioner mpya. Ame report pale Nyeri. Na tuko na police commander. Tafadhali muanze kufanya kazi. Hizi dawa za kulevya mpambana naye na ile pombe haramu ambaye inaharibu watoto wetu mufanyie kazi naye gavana wa matangi na magavana wengine katika eneo hili hata nyinyi mumetukosea mume license each and every bar to be bar and restaurant sasa mnaweka kila bar kuwa bar and restaurant mkitafuta revenue in the process we lose an entire generation sasa hata mkiokota hiyo pesa mjenge barabara hii watoto wakikufa nani atatembea kwa hiyo barabara we want to appeal to our governors to sit down and agree that they cannot license each and every outlet to be bar and restaurant to sell 24 hours it is wrong it is unacceptable hata kama mtafuta mnatafuta revenue governor you cannot do it at the expense of our children let us have just one restaurant in a big town as bar and restaurant ile ya kuuza 24 hours lakini nyinyi mwepeana kila pahali ni bar and restaurant sasa imefunguliwa asubuhi mpaka the following day and that is one of the problems so the governors not just in this area but in Kenya must make a decision that in pursuit of revenue licensing every kiosk every outlet to be bar and restaurant you want to destroy an entire generation and that is not right so tungetaka murudi pale chini mkubaliane so that even as our officers try to deal with these uh, challenges you don't license what is wrong na kutoka hapo tutaweza kufanya tunaweza ku make progress kwa hivyo rais wetu tunakukaribisha umekaribishwa hapa katika mlima kwa kanisa interdenominational service to launch affordable housing to launch barabara this is your home you do what you want at your own pace na hatutaki mtu yote akupangie wewe mwenyewe ni rais i hope mmemsikiliza vizuri sana huyo jamaa uh, regarding ya shagwa and um huyo ndo mtu ambaye mlimchagua alafu mnataka kuona change mtu ambaye kwanza hataki mawaidha <laughs> cha pili uwezi kumwambia chochote cha tatu anajua kila kitu cha nne hataki kwenda mbele kazi ni kurudi nyuma cha tano ni mtu ambaye ajielewi yeye mwenyewe nafasi yake imemshtua unataka inchi ende mbele hakuna sema ambapo mnaenda trust me mliambiwa vizuri sana huyu Kenyatta aliwaambia vizuri sana jamani mweni makini kwenye kuchagwana amkuelewa atuletea matatizo kama haya kwanza Ruto sijui alitoa wapi gashago hapa mimi sijui alitoa wapi sometimes inabidi tumkosee shima kwa sababu yeye hatuheshimu sisi. Heshima inaanza tu pale ambapo we unapata heshima. Kama upati heshima kama we haupeani heshima hauwezi kupata heshima. Angalie namna ambavyo anatuongelesha sisi kama wananchi. Angalie namna ambavyo anaongelesha hata na opposition. Angalie namna ambavyo yeye mwenyewe ana address vitu. Ili nimefika point atoa mbembeleza na yani atoa mlamba kabisa kwa sababu imefika point ambapo hataki kusikiliza maneno. Anaambiwa oya wachana na issue ya uhuru Kenyatta hizo ni issue ambazo zilishapita kitambo sana achana nazo hizo issue ya uhuru sijui serikali sijui hizo zilisha isha bwana tuendeni mbele tuangalie vitu vya muhimu kwanza kuna kitu ambacho wanawadanganya nao hapa ya sijui affordable houses nani kakwambia mtu ameenda kayoli akakosa nyumba pa kuishi kibera kuna manyumba mpaka leo hii ukienda hata watu 20 mtapata nyumba same pa kuishi issue of affordable houses hizo 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 ni PR. Mimi nawaambia tu hizo ni PR. Kwa sababu sasa hivi kwa nani wewe? Yaani mnatuambia 5000 nyumba affordable, si ndio? Okay, mnataka watu waishi. Sisemi sitamani kuona watu wanaishi Kibera kwa sababu nampajua maisha yalivyo kule. 
but sasa hivi hatutaki affordable houses tunataka chakula kwanza hatuishi na njaa na nikakwambia hawana manyumba pa kuishi hawana sehemu pa kuenda kila mtu ana sehemu pa kuenda tatizo ni hela ambazo zitanunua chakula tunahitaji unga sabini tuone kama mambo yatakuwa yana make sense tena mtu amchamue amchanue e, mtu amchanue mapema kabisa ligadi kasha kwa sababu naona anapoteza anapoteza na atakuja yeye mwenyewe atakuja kuumia kwa sababu asijifanye mjeuri sana kwa nini tumeona watu wangapi wanakaa hapo alafu baadaye wanatoka maisha inaendelea tumeona watu wangapi wanatupa maneno watu wangapi tumeona leo hawapo wengine wao wamefariki hata kuja tu kutoka hata yani hata wakae miaka 20 watakuja kutoka hata kwa watu kwanza kukaa pale miaka 25 20 30 watatoka tu unanipata mtazamaji wangu so wacha tusubiri tuone itakuwaaje but trust me hata toboa wakiendelea hivi hataki kuambiwa kitu cha kufanya hataki kushirikisha watu wengine afa na expect vitu vi flow vina flow wapi tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata acha maoni yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments subscribe kama hauja subscribe mimi naitwa Mr WJ kwa support yote hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments nimeweka nambari yangu bado fresh nifikishie chochote mimi nitashukuru sana kwa sababu sisi tunategemea support yenu tukutane kwenye video ambayo inafuata